loading snacks. Ladies and gentlemen, loading snacks. We're back. I'm Gage. I'm Sin. And we are bringing you information E3 pregame. Yes, sir. This is what we think is going to happen. Now, Nintendo doesn't do a press conference. So this isn't no. about Nintendo. This is about E3. Right. And Nintendo has kind of backed off of doing a press conference. They do they the, uh, one last year. The, they do the Nintendo Directs the Nintendo now. Nintendo Direct. So yes. they're going to have a Direct. Right. Then they'll follow up with Treehouse stuff. And right. All that and, stuff. And, and they will have a press announcements conference. all through the week, all that kind of stuff. Right. So. They're not there live doing a press conference. What do you think Nintendo kicks off the Direct with? Kicks it off with? Kick it off. <sighs> Kicks it off. Reggie? Well, <laughs> I don't know, man. They don't be let, at the Directs, they don't give Reggie that kind of love, man. It's usually like, I don't know, man. I, uh... I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, as far as what they do. Miyamoto. It off, it, it's it's going to be one of the two coming out saying something. But I something. mean, game-wise. I mean, like, how would... Do they do they come out hitting hard? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what? They... I'm going to say they're going to come out with uh, Xeno Saga, Xenoblade. Uh, First? Because they've already done it at the, the last uh, okay. thing they did, okay. but it'll have an announcement, a, 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 a date on it this time. We okay. still don't have a date on it. They've been keep... Okay. Pushing up, it was the head of the last direct that they did. Okay. But we still don't have a day yet. I think E3, they'll kick off with it, give us a trailer, and at the end, finally put a date up and be like, hey, yeah, here it comes. Fair enough. Hardware. If, if not where it starts, give me a date. Do we get any hardware <laughs> announcements that aren't Amiibo? No. Okay. So we know they already told us we're not getting any NX information. Right. They're doing this direct, so that means that they control it. Right. You know, it's not live. It's going to be pre-recorded. This probably done a week ago. Right. So about a week ago. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, no NX stuff. Do you think we see a Wii U price drop? I would not be surprised. I think actually, actually, actually. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Wii U gets a price drop. I agree. Yeah. I think we see a price drop from the Wii U. I think it's necessary. I think it's time. They're not, they're, they're not pushing the units they need to. Yeah, you they, have they, to. They, they, they have to do something to move the units. I think I think it's it's been... Nintendo has always been able... I mean, they moved units anyway in terms of hardware, but mm -hmm. they've always been able to, to, to survive on the fact that they had strong first-party games that people just loved and would go back to. That doesn't necessarily exist anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and their heavy hitter for this year isn't coming out this year. Zelda's not going to be there. Nope. It says Zelda won't even be at E3. I don't know if I completely believe that. But it's not even supposed to be there at all. We know it got pushed back. So, without that, mm -hmm. I think they need a price drop. Even though they have some good stuff that's coming this year. They do. And like I said before. People like Splatoon. I have my Wii U. I like my Wii U. I right. think if more people probably had like had, had it in their hands and got to use some of the functionality that it comes with I like it they just like yeah it's all about you gotta market it and better and get get the games out for it which here's is, what I think last year's direct seemed to to put a focus on doing what they really needed to do with the Wii U which is show why the gamepad is important like mm -hmm. why it's a necessity like with the with the Wii you could clearly see why this controller mm -hmm. was an important and an essential piece of, of the game, of the system, and how it worked with the games. Mm -hmm. They haven't really done that with the gamepad. Um, they have made some use of it, but they did kind of kind of push some things, especially towards the end of the Direct last year, um, with hints at, like, Star Fox, which is where I think they're going to open. I think they're going to open with Star Fox. Okay. I think they come out banging. Here's a Star Fox. Okay. Right? Um, we already got... Mario Kart. I think we may see some DLC, some more DLC for Mario Kart. Yeah. They've been doing really well with that, and that's pushing. And I think the same thing for uh, Smash Brothers. Well, they announced that they're going to do a separate Smash Brothers Direct before this one. So, we know we're going to get some good Smash Brothers oh, information yeah. about DLC, new characters, yep. that kind of stuff. We might hear some information about Amiibo functionality. I expect mm -hmm. that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, I think we see a price drop. 50 bucks. That seems to be at a least, prerequisite. At least, yeah, yeah, it's 50 yeah, bucks, yeah, yeah. right? Um, I think we see them 
talk about some bundles. I don't know if we'll see everything they're going to have, but I know we're going to see bundles. Clearly, they're already doing that with Splatoon. Mm -hmm. I think we'll see some bundles. I don't think we're going to get anything like a special edition that has, you know, some kind of, spe you know. Nah, nah, I don't see that happening. Don't they just, happening. they don't tend to do that with their main home consoles. They tend to do it with their handhelds, which we'll talk about in a second. Okay. But you don't tend to really see them do that um, with those consoles very often. Um, not until maybe an anniversary or something like that, then you get like some kind of special edition. But I do right. think we'll see some bundles. I think we'll see some two game packages. Um, okay. That'll come to kind of coincide with that price drop. Um, and I expect them to try to show things that will help show off more of the gamepad and why the gamepad is important. It is. The gamepad is dope. More people, more developers need to take advantage of the gamepad because the games that do. What's great with the, Well, that's the, part of the issue is that yeah. they don't have third-party support anymore. So I think... Lego on the cover did great with it. Right. I've uh, seen what they're doing with the Xeno, Xeno Saga one. Like, what's right. great with it? Like, I think what we're going to see is I think we're going to see Nintendo announce some things that are going to be very surprising like they did with Bayonetta last year mm -hmm. where they put their money behind it to get the game out. And so we got a special version of the game that we wouldn't have otherwise seen. We got special outfits, things mm -hmm. like that. I think we'll and see more the, things the like one, the Hyrule yeah. Warriors. Yes. Um, so I'm expecting something. I'm expecting something I don't expect. <laughs> um, I think we're going to see them make some announcements. With some, I, I, I expect to see a Capcom announcement. I just am. I have this feeling that okay. we'll see something. Maybe we get... A Street Fighter character for Smash Brothers. Maybe we see we we got an announcement about a Mega Man collection. Yeah, we did. Mega we did, Man we did. one through six. Yeah, I think that's dope. So I would like to actually see Capcom and them work together and give us like a Mega Man maker, almost like they have the Mario maker. Ooh, like that'd be that would be kind be of too phenomenal. That'd be too much. Um, but I think that they could maybe do something like that because we have seen them actually give some of their assets to other companies to do stuff like what they did with Bayonetta and, yeah. you know, Hyrule Warriors, what have you. Um, 3DS. New 3DS. Um, we only received here in the U.S. the larger, the XL, the, mm -hmm. the new 3DS XL. We didn't get the smaller one. The so I think we're going to see right. the release of the smaller one. Um so they can kind of target some yeah. of the smaller kids and things like that. Yeah, 3DS a lower is price point yeah. so that they can. 3DS has not been moving like they're used to it moving. Handheld gaming is not doing as well as it did. It's not just Vita. It's also 3DS that's suffering from it because oh, tablets and cell phones. Cell phones, I mean, yeah, it just, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. So that gaming is, is a little bit different. And I think they need to do the same thing with 3DS and with handhelds is they need to push why their hardware is important to the experience of the game and being mm -hmm. able to game that way same thing they need to do with the game pad why right. is this essential to playing to, on to the play wii, on the wii, wii the way that we yeah. so yeah. if they can come out with stuff that shows that i mean they've done that with all the other 3ds it was kind of like here's a touch screen you mm -hmm. know here's a stylus you can only play a game like this this way but right. that was the first thing to really have a touch screen now, everything has a touch screen right you know what i mean so and 3d's kind of worn its welcome out it has um, been one and if you one. can't use it and you're under six and that's who people want to buy them things for, then the three doesn't mean anything. So they've got to come up with ways to show why it's necessary to have a controller and have tactile buttons mm -hmm. um, for something like that. I think that's what they need to do. I think we'll see some, some, some developments there. I don't know if we're going to get anything too, too major, but I expect to see a new Pokemon. <laughs> and I expect it to work on both. I expect... Just like kind of like what they did with thing. well, like kinda, uh, it's kind of uh, like with, with Smash Brothers. Like okay, I expect yeah, like yeah. a Wii U version and a, a 3DS version and a 3DS version. I okay. think that's what they do. They do that, and I expect them to drop Yokai Watch. Yokai Watch here in the U.S. is one of the biggest things. Period in Japan, they do Yokai Watch. That's the new po new Pokemon. They give us a new Pokemon game, new, not a remake of an old joint. Right. New Pokemon game for both systems and Yokai Watch. Nintendo makes a comeback. Definitely, I'm calling it. Oh, he said it. It's not gonna happen. But listen, <laughs> but I'm calling it anyway. So listen. So with that, 
We're gonna wrap up this Nintendo E3 pre-show thing here. That's what we expect. Yeah, what we want y'all to do is go hit the website, www.lotusnacks.com. Yeah. Go hit the Twitter feed, go hit the Facebook feed. At Lotus go, Snacks. Go hit the uh, Instagram. Straight uh, up. Hit this subscribe button at the That's bottom for favorite. us. That's Please. My That's my favorite Comment, button. email, everything, the whole nine yards. We want to get back at y'all, but for now, we out. Loading snacks. Way to go. <laughs> Yo, WWE. Hey, hey, listen. K was back that joint dancing. Yeah. <laughs> hola, hola, oh, hey. hey. Oh, the song. Roll it, roll it, roll. <laughs> That's right. Give him players on the mic. <laughs> Need to help.